ladies and gentlemen, hope you're well. Another video brought to you by Rib today with all the building and map creating that's going on. I'm going to show you how to download. First of all, my well, first part is going to be how to download, install XCAM. The second part is going to be how to use XCAM. And the third part is how, if you want to contribute to this project we're working on in the minute, how you could create uh, something, i.e., whether it's a base, a town you name it and then put it onto the server that we're going to be running so first one is how to how to get xcam how to install xcam so first things let's go just to any google and put xcam armor 3 and you will come to the xcam editor.de website and this guy who created this is a is a, yeah he's I'm going to say he's very helpful he's very experienced obviously he's created a couple of maps with it and yeah it's awesome so xcam add on and click the download now button once you've downloaded it it will be in your download folder or wherever you've told it to download mine is in the download folder so I went into the, my downloads I right clicked it and I've created a new folder on the desktop and I've just put it in there for now okay so right click extract here there's only two folders well there's three files you need out of here so let's go in here and XCAM is not installed so we want this so what we need is this one this one uh, and with the project I'm working on in the minute, we're going to be using all in Armour Terrain Pack. So what you want to do, guys, if you're going to be working on the project with me, but if you don't use Armour Terrain Pack, uh, all in Armour Terrain Pack, then don't worry about this next bit. But we're going to use this. So copy these beasts, these PBOs, copy, go back, go into the XCAM folder, add-ons, and paste them in there to replace the existing. Okay. So we want this folder this folder and we also want the makefile.dll so that's when you're saving your projects so we want them three so copy them go to your armor 3 directory and paste them in this location obviously I've already got mine uh, where are they xcam add in a db which is the database stuff and the make file is already down here make file there so that's it go on to your armor 3 like so. So now like any other mod we need to go to your parameters and select the folder as you can see I'm running them both there so use your little dots and select those folders. Once that's done go to play. We need to go into ed the editor now guys. The next tutorial I do will be the tutorial that shows you how to export uh, the mission SQMs. So the important part. Shouldn't take too long. I'm running a lot of add-ons. About 11 gigabytes worth. A nice cup of tea. I keep getting requests about tutorials, how to show people how to create 3D objects. Well, I would do that, but I don't know how to do the 3D objects myself at the minute, so that would be a learning uh, curve for me. I have a friend, luckily, who creates 3D objects and if I have to I'll buy what I need and I already have done quite a few so armor's already started so we've, we've selected the parameters and we've, we're running the X, at xcam folder we're running the at in the db folder so now we need to go into the editor whatever map you're working on so editor let's go to anything Takistan for instance 2d editor we need to put down a, a player unit and we also need to put down a module I'll show you how to do both so make sure you've got the unit selected and let's put down it doesn't matter what what faction just put anything down but make sure it is player okay next one you want to put down is the game logic go to class and put down XCAM done okay preview if this is the first time you're going to have done this then you're going to be it it could take up to I don't know it depends on your PC but I've known it take up to 20 minutes on my laptop and that's running all setting up all the new classes for the new buildings and structures so for instance when I go start XCAM this now we scroll your mouse and go to start XCAM by the way guys uh, yeah so luckily I'm already done obviously I'm already set up but yours will be running a massive list and when it, it's done it will look like this okay and you won't be able to do anything until you click N project new project give it a name one okay and now you're good to go 
Okay. So we'll come back to these how to use XCAM on the next video. So I hope that helps guys. Like and subscribe. See you in part two. Adios!